something to understand with respect to these quadratic equations is what's actually happening. So it's imp it actually is important with quadratic equations to really understand what we're doing, to really understand the concepts behind the calculations. And that's what we're going to talk about now. So this isn't about how to solve anything. This is about really understanding what's going on under the hood. Now, just want to remind you, what's underneath the radical? What's underneath the radical in the quadratic formula is b squared minus 4ac. That actually has a name. It's called the discriminant. So b squared minus, not the radical here, but the b squared f minus 4ac, that quantity under the radical is called the discriminant. And we have three situations that occur with that discriminant, and that tells us a lot about the basic behavior of this quadratic that we're talking about. What you're most familiar with is the b squared minus 4ac being a positive number. Now think about what that means. That means that you've got a plus, whatever this number is, its square root, and a minus, whatever number that is, its square root, and that gives you two real answers on the real line. And what that means is, is that if we graphed that function, if the function is opening up, we'd see this. And the quadratic formula is giving us the precise points. Remember, what's the quadratic equation asking? Where is that zero? This is the x-axis. We have y equals the function. Here are the two points where that equals zero. And that's the situation where your b squared minus 4ac is positive. Obviously, we can have a quadratic with a negative in front of the x squared, in which case the parabola is going to open downward, and we get our two answers. So that's the situation where what's under the radical is positive. Now, what happens, and this does happen, if b squared and 4ac are exactly the same number? You're going to get a b squared minus 4ac is 0, which means that the square root of b squared minus 4ac is 0, which means you're not plusing or minusing anything. There's nothing to plus minus. It's 0. So all you get is the negative b over the 2a. That happens when the parabola perfectly hits the x-axis. There's only one answer. Opening downward, only one answer. So if your discriminant happens to be equal to 0, you're only going to have one answer in your solution. Now what happens when b squared minus 4ac goes negative? Now you've got those complex numbers we were talking about. You got an i in your answer. It's a complex number. What's happening here is that your parabolas don't cross the x-axis. There's no real solution. These are all real solutions. They're real numbers. When you've got this situation, you only have complex answers. They can't be graphed in this way. There's other ways to graph them, but that's not part of this course. What it means is that if you did graph this quadratic and get its parabola, it would be above and never intersect, or it would be below and never intersect. So these are the parabolas associated with these situations. And it's important to understand that concept because you really do, under you do, really do want to understand what's going on with quadratics. And by the completion of this course, you will. Good counting to you.